I think like I heard Fifty talking about um like how why he didn't think Seven Records was like an album, and once he put it in that perspective, like I agree, like it motherfuckers don't make classics no more. They like don't. they make good records. Like don't get it twisted, and I'll never judge none of the young dudes right? mm-hmm. because it was the time when she came around. I ain't fucking. Right. Other time when she came around with people in front of me. So I don't be on that. I'm always on some. At least he getting some money. Mm-hmm. Like at least he ain't doing no stupid shit. There's a lot of other shit he can be doing. Mm-hmm. But I ain't never know. I you like when, when once you in hip hop, like you gotta calm down on that fucking try to judge what's hip hop. Mm-hmm. Like like I'm I'm starting to do executive producing and I'm like I don't tell him the dudes what to do. I be like you do all the records you want. Like I'm gonna help you pick beats and shit. I'm not about to write the rap for you and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. We'll get together and. On ideas because like I'm uh, from the time that I'm in like your your, your fans won't go with you like they won't know what's happening with you they won't know what's happening with me they won't know what's happening with you you was popping mm-hmm. and I don't tell motherfuckers I can teach you how to make hits like show you how to make some records that's gonna last yeah like and that's really what it's about like you want to make records that last but record niggas drop singles every week like mm-hmm. that motherfucker don't last it don't last and it's like you can't tell me like you can't give me a list of songs. From the last ten years, that's like still real, real banging right now. Mm-hmm. If you do, you gotta pull from the motherfuckers who you feel like in this era, but they really not. Yeah, like you pulling from people like Meek and all that. He's not in that era. That's not his era. This is mm-hmm. not his era. Drake. Mm-hmm. This is not his era. Like, mm-hmm. This is not Drake's era. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta pull from like in this. I ain't gonna make man or man love with always be on some we this and this one. But one thing about me is like. I ain't never, I don't never had a problem with no rappers because, like, at least you're getting some money. Well, you got a few dollars, I'm cool. Like, right? mm-hmm. I'm being told that stupid ass shit. Like, you getting you some money, I'm getting you some money, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. That's I think it's bringing the street shit too much into this rap shit, but social media do that. Yeah, social media is like. trick the shit out of real nigga. Yeah, it's putting stuff on steroids. It trick the shit out of real nigga. Because a real yeah. nigga, you always have, everybody have puss ass thought shit, you know that? Yeah. It's, like, you, it's you have, ain't nothing wrong with the thought of it. Don't let right. that shit come out your mouth. Right. When you got social media, you get right on that bitch. And you, <laughs> you can't take that back. I, yeah. All that deleting, all that. You can't yeah. take that back. And yes. it'd be real niggas who just make pussy ass moves. But if it wasn't for social media, you probably wouldn't have made that move. So you, that start, yeah. so you gotta watch how you judge people. You done each eye, bro. Like, you gotta watch what you're saying. Because, like, I met me and the youngest was talking the other day. And, and the motherfucker was talking about standing on their word. I was like, yo, stop that shit right now. Yeah, because you can't never say like you whatever you we we, we get caught up in this. I'm a stand if I said that I'm a stand on it. No the fuck you not. That's stupid. Because it's a lot of times when you make decisions out of anger. You say some shit out of anger, and tomorrow you wake up and you realize that was stupid shit. You, know <laughs> you got to you 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 you, you got to get that and have no problem being like you know what I would I did some stupid because you bring a whole lot of motherfuckers behind you behind something stupid that you don't even stand on. All y'all going. 180 behind some shit that you know in your mind not right but you feel like you won't stand on your word yeah. it was a bad word ain't nothing wrong with that you're human that's what happened mm-hmm. but when motherfuckers ain't comfortable with themselves they can't make mistakes it's hard for them oh if I make a mistake I have no problem with making a mistake cause, I'm, I, cause I do a lot so you, you're entitled to make a few mistakes right right and right you, but you gotta acknowledge them like I be trying to catch my mistake for another motherfucker catch it right. but if you catch it I'm gonna respect that you caught it and you gotta learn from it Motherfuckers, you, they be too, so good trying to hide the flaw. Mm-hmm. Keep on. Hide yeah. the motherfucking flaw. When they blow up, it's, 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 it's a dead issue. Real yeah, talk. So, man, like, not too long ago, a little while back ago, you said something about making classics. And they don't make classics anymore. I totally agree with you, everything you were saying. I want to know from your opinion, why do you think it's important that. That's why the music lasts. Yeah. Like the music, listen. So it's about the music. About the music. Like, yeah. I was doing this shit called uh, Jams and Giants. I used to do this shit on Instagram. And this is just some shit that I do. Like, I listen to old records. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of young dudes who came on there and they started really like, oh, that shit came from. Mm-hmm. Like, all the records that really last, yeah. you go back and you see it's an old record. Real talk. Uh, come from something from something old. Like, yeah. And like when motherfuckers hit them old old records, they they start getting it. Like, mm-hmm. like you gotta you and, and it's just like 
as of now, like, I'm cool with the rap shit. Like, I can rap forever if they allow me to, but I'm not going to take up that much space. So, like, I know a lot about music. Like, I grew up in the bar. So, niggas can't tell me nothing about it. Mm -hmm. No kind of music. Like, you probably think you could. It ain't much, not no 70s music. Like, I'm a 70s baby. It's nothing. Like, I'll show you some records that'll fuck your head up. Because that's yeah. what I listen to. Like, that's my inspiration. One of my biggest things with people and talking to people about music and critiquing people, whether it be young, old, anybody, is whether or not they're aware of how much music is really out there. And then sometimes I find myself talking to people about music and I can tell from not only like their explanation or description or just the type of music they reference that a lot of people don't really realize how much good music is out there. You know what I'm saying? Because like, what happens is Majority, they in 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 their feeling. Majority of the shit that they hear ain't good, right, right. so they ain't going to dig for what's good. They right, right. hip hop fans like right. you're a fan, you go dig for that. And so, I hip hop fan, yeah. like we, when, when we start talking about crossing over and all that kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't dig for hip hop. We crossed over. Mm -hmm. like, motherfuckers don't really dig like that. Like yeah. look at fucking Jay Z, reasonable doubt. Yeah, man. Just saying, like yeah. motherfuckers, it's just a lot of people just didn't dig. Like you don't go, really, people really don't go back. Yeah, yeah. But that's where you need to be going. Like crossing up. Yeah, you got you got to go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backwards will show you exactly what's gonna happen in, in, in time. If you be now, do you feel like hip hop has completely crossed over? Oh no. Nothing. Okay, so it still so has some. Fan no crossover. Like okay. they, the dirt, they got. Yeah. Like T Y, like is they got. The, 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 the streets don't yeah, always yeah. be there. like they mm -hmm. they lead the way like and what happens is <clears throat> the streets always make these good these real nice records mm -hmm. and the industry uh, 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 catch that vibe mm -hmm. and they twitch it move it a little bit and take it up that's true like, I mean in this part of the game like it ain't oh he stole my song and all that kind of shit it don't really I, I, I don't get into it as in that but yeah. that's what happens yeah, that's what happens though. This is an idea I was talking to a friend of mine about, like when we were discussing some some hip hop music. I we kind of came to the point where we feel like it's time to really come up with a specific name for a lot of this new stuff that's coming out, and what? not and not call it rap, and not call it hip hop. Why? Right. Why? Right. Then like, it, because I did, let me tell you something. Like, I think we too much into judging what these kids are doing. Right, right. Leave it alone. Like the other day. It's a lot of the shit that they could be doing. This time gonna pass. Sit down and relax. Like this this way it comes to patience. Mm hmm Like you gotta be patient. Mm hmm Like let me step like you know, it that the only reason why I can really understand it is because like when I when I start fucking with the music, even with even like um spit or like they ain't sound like motherfuckers from here, like we rap. Yeah, that's the one thing I like most about y'all, man. Rap. So, it was times when shit was popping out here the way we just had to ride the wave and wait till that wave come. Like, motherfuckers be looking at the shit like, we've been in this shit a long, this shit wasn't easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, but that's why I'm so deep into the game. We've been in this shit a long fucking time, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, <clears throat> like, you, 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 you ain't nothing better you ever learn from in the game. Mm-hmm. So like it, I can't end a lot of motherfuckers that taught me shit. It, I, I mean, it's a lot of motherfuckers that did a lot. Yeah. But I learned a lot of shit too, and it's just from experience. Mm -hmm. But like everything, everything has its time. Remember P did it with the party music and all that kind of shit. Everybody yeah. wasn't agreeing with that, and then the shit hit the clubs, and yeah. then like it's gonna be alright. I think we're in panic mode, like just because. I think the problem is though, like. It's not their music, mm -hmm. it's the shit they doing. Yeah. Like, okay. so, it's, you, you, you go and critique their music because they're doing so much stupid shit. Mm -hmm. But if you re if you pay attention, like, we were doing the same shit. Mm -hmm. But we wasn't as wild as them and them do, and they got money, so it's more attention. Right. Like, you, you looking at young men there. Like, it's we ain't more than a thousand or something. Right, Every right. time them dudes touch something, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, jaywalk and then get a traffic ticket the next day. Look like a bad guy. Mm hmm. Just that simple, and sometimes for him, he like fuck it because it's social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that ain't really ain't him, but he don't give a fuck what you think. He mm -hmm. biting on something, but then he start getting judged like that, and then we fall for the shit that they trick.